Now in the North, transit-oriented development. Kazan City, the largest city in Metro Manila. It is well known for various lifestyle hotspots, urban green spaces, and modern developments. Whether you're going out with your family, catching up with your friends, or advancing your career, Kazan City definitely has something to offer. There are malls, restaurants, leisure parks, hospitals, schools, business areas, and transportation hubs. With these available lifestyle spots, Kazan City is no doubt the center of information and recreation. And as the city progresses, transit-oriented development areas slowly arise in Kazan City. But what is transit-oriented development? The Institute for Transportation and Development Policy described a transit-oriented development, or TOD, as integrated urban places designed to bring people, activities, buildings, and public space together with easy walking and cycling connection between them and near excellent transit service to the rest of the city. Sounds thrilling, especially if you're living within a TOD. Think of it as the impeccable fusion of connectivity and comfort. Understanding the perks of living in a TOD, the Aaron Heights gives a glimpse of a seamless living experience in Kazan City. The Aaron Heights is a residential development that will rise soon on Commonwealth Avenue, the country's widest road. Overlooking this road, the Aaron Heights boasts its strategic location, giving the future homeowners access to the city. Moreover, there is a combination of mobility options present within the vicinity of the Aaron Heights. The first option is the train system with the MRT-7 as the nearest line. The Aaron Heights has a walkable distance of 150 meters to MRT-7 Tandang Sora Station. It leads all the way to San Jose del Monte in Bulacan and connects to the unified Grand Central Station, which connects it to the MRT-3, LRT-1, and the upcoming Metro Manila subway. From this joint station, you can transfer to the MRT-3 line that passes the cities of Mandaluyo, Makati, and Pasay, with Taft Station as the last point. This transit option fits the live-work-play lifestyle as the Aaron Heights connects to central business districts. MRT-3 Cubao Station has an interconnecting point with LRT-2 Cubao Station, which means one can access the whole stretch of the LRT-2 line that runs from the upcoming Pier 4 Station in Manila to Antipolo Station in Rizal. If you want to visit the commercial establishments in Cubao, then this route can be your quick alternative. Moreover, there is also access from the unified Grand Central Station to LRT-1 Roosevelt Station. From this point, you can travel to the cities of Caloocan, Manila, Pasay, and with ongoing extensions all the way to Paranaque, Las Piñas, and Cavite. Another interesting fact is the access to the upcoming Metro Manila subway which offers you connectivity to key locations from Mindanao Avenue in Quezon City to Nino Aquino International Airport in Paranaque City. If you prefer to drive around, the network of roads will be your best option. The Commonwealth Avenue leads you to the elliptical road which serves as a gateway to North Avenue, West Avenue, East Avenue, and Visayas Avenue, then leads you further to EDSA and NLEX. On the northern part of Commonwealth Avenue is the Tandang Sora Avenue that leads you down to C5 Road and business areas such as Katipunan and Pasig City. Another exciting development in the area is the Southeast Metro Manila Expressway. This superhighway connects the Batasan Complex to SLEX and decongests the heavy traffic in EDSA and C5. Other mobility options are the walkable pedestrian lanes, overpass bridges, 
bicycle lanes, and public buses and vans passing by Commonwealth Avenue. For residents of the Aaron Heights, an additional transportation option will be offered through the exclusive community shuttle that will give them a ride to nearby key areas. It's incredible how your location affords an extensive transit selection, but a remarkable city lifestyle isn't just shadowed by the skyscrapers and metro transits. The Aaron Heights brings you a sigh of relaxation as it presents easy connectivity to green spaces even amid the city. Make time for your wellness as you explore the serene side of Quezon City. The best piece of this urban mobility is your home that sits right in front of them all. Accessibility is the everyday reality in the Aaron Heights. You can drive on your way to work or ride your bike going to nearby parks. It'll be easy for your kids to go to school or gather with friends in the malls. Live at ease knowing that trusted hospitals are just a few minutes away from home. Being situated in a transit-oriented development progresses the land value of a real estate development. With the increased number of local businesses, improved mobility, a flux of people from nearby cities and outskirts, and better quality of life, real estate buyers appreciate the opportunity of investing in a transit-oriented home. A good reference is the Xenia Towers DMCI Homes development along Edsa, Quezon City. Xenia Towers was launched in early 2012 with a selling price of 67,000 pesos per square meter. In just about nine years, unit owners enjoyed an increase of almost 70% of their property value. Xenia Towers' location within a transit-oriented development has been seen as one of the significant contributors to this increase. Investing in a transit-oriented home, just like the Aaron Heights, suits the taste of those seeking finer things in life. Everywhere you turn, endless options await you to connect seamlessly to your lifestyle of choice. Discover the Aaron Heights, an awe-inspiring address in a fast-paced city setting.